Okay, welcome in today, guys. Got a fun new favorite project of mine that I came up with having to do with one of my favorite famous artists. Um, his name is Jean-Michel Basquiat. Um, a really, really hard name to say. Fantastic, awesome, awesome artist that I just learned about probably, you know, within the last five years and his popularity has kind of grown from there. He's kind of got a little pop culture vibe to him um, with some of his work. The thing that I like about him most is just his kind of spontaneous and almost like childlike drawings um that have such vibrant colors and the characters and in them are really recognizable as his characters and his drawings and designs um so it's really really cool so how i'm turning this into my project is he did a, a couple of theme of putting a crown in certain of his artwork so there's different artworks that have this kind of crown in there so and one of my favorite ones is the dinosaur with the crown um and I'm gonna throw a little twist with adding your favorite animal with a crown. So I liked his dinosaur with a crown, so I'm gonna throw a couple of my favorite animals with a crown. So I have all these books, um, these how to draw books where I've, where I've used before. Um, I think I have a wild animals one and a regular how to draw pets. There, <laughs> that one. Um, but they have all these awesome animals, so definitely some great ideas in here for sketching and drawing, and then in itself, in the animals itself. Oh, this is the fish one that I did. I do have a video on the fish one where it kind of breaks it down. So I'm just gonna pick a couple of my favorite ones. I'll go through them fast, but then on any of your animal, you have to add some sort of crown onto that. So, so let me do the crown first, just a little step by step, and then I'll go really, really fast through my two animals and examples that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have my markers that they can use markers for this, because I almost want it to be, a l not rushed, but to have that kind of um, Basquiat kind of style to that, where he had kind of a unique that were kind of impulsive with the lines um, and really, really represent his style. So for the crown, it's kind of a zigzag line on top. So if you do down, up, down, up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then straight lines on the side. And then a straight line on the bottom as well. So that's the basics for the crown that you're gonna put on. He always kinda had a little outline around that. So just kinda how we do block or bubble lines. You kinda trace around it like a racetrack and then this was kind of filled in. So I will do Both that. Both of my animals that I'm gonna go through real quick. I think I'm gonna do a giraffe, because I like giraffes. And then I think I'm about doing turtles. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I'll make this little turtle guy with a crown. So let's go through that real quick. All right, so there they are. Got both my animals turned out cool. Got the little crown on the top. And I think the reason, one of the reasons, there's a couple of speculations on why he put those crowns on, whether he was making his artwork, that he was the king of doing his artwork, or that these animals or these characters that he would do would be crowned uh, as kind of the best animals or the best characters that he could do. Um, so that's one representation or one idea on why that he put the crown. But I think it's a cool idea um, to put anything that you're doing uh, artistically and then to put a crown it automatically gives symbolism and having symbols in art is really really important so I'm gonna go through these add some color onto them and have some fun with the background so let's go through that real quick Here's my giraffe, my turtle. I tried to, like I said, have that kind of Basquiat style um, with a little aggressive with the kind of lines and kind of outlining. I noticed a lot of his has different kind of outlines in them. For the background, this is where your creativity can really kind of go off. I'm gonna still keep with markers, which I usually don't for the backgrounds because one thing with Basquiat, his backgrounds were really alive and full of a lot of different stuff, almost like a, coll like a collage having different items in different places sometimes there's writing sometimes there's little sections of colors um, so it's not really your normal traditional background it's kind of almost invented and kind of created almost on the spot so I'm gonna try to do that for the background so I'm gonna go through that really really fast
They are. How cool are those? Um, really, really like this project. Really like how they all, it all comes together and just the randomness and the kind of fun and spon spontaneous uh, way of doing this is really, really a fun and it pays homage to one of my favorite artists, Jean-Michel Basquiat. So th hopefully you guys like this project. Hopefully you had some fun with it and it sets your characters a little bit apart and maybe it's doing something a little bit different than you so have. as always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art channel and we will talk to you guys later.